ready for a good workout. Put my camera here so I can film myself. Woo, let's go. Excuse you? Can I help you? Can I help you? Do you need something from me? I'm trying to undress in public and you're watching. Pervert. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. This video is sponsored by me and my protein donut company and my weight loss support group. For more information, click the links below in my description and thank you all for the support. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, Subscribe, please. So some chick, apparently, uh, some TikTok chick flipped out because some guy glanced at her for about 0.2 seconds. 0.2 seconds too long. Some of you guys are asking my opinion on this because of my story times about creepy gym dudes and I am an avid confronter. And so people are wondering, does this qualify? as a freak out? Was she, was this reaction completely justifiable in Michelle town? So this will be interesting. I had to confront many a men in the gym. Actually, I have said something myself to men that have just been staring at me for a long time. So it'll be interesting if I will side with her or side with the public who are saying, uh, this was a little much, girl. It was not that serious. Rainer gets caught on camera being a pervert. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. She is taking off her shirt in the quote unquote guy area, the area where it has all the bench presses. So a lot of men flock to that area to get that pump in their chest. But she is in the guy area, slowly taking off her shirt in front of the mirror. Girl, from someone who started getting really excited when I started seeing definition in my arms and I wanted the world to experience it. I wanted them to notice me. Back in the day when I needed, I thrived off of freaking attention from people I didn't even talk to. This is what I did. Before I even watched this video, I saw comments saying, Oh, she wanted to be seen. She wouldn't have been doing this in the gym if she didn't want people to talk to her. And I was like, I go to the gym. Sometimes like, it depends on if sometimes I look like a troll, a goblin, or a goddess. And whenever I go, no matter what I'm wearing, I usually don't want to be talked to. But seeing it now, when she's like slowly undressing herself, filming herself, center stage in the gym, taking her shirt off, um... I kind of agree with those commenters. I always did this, movies do this. It's called the all reveal. Yeah, you've seen it, that slow motion scene when the woman or the male, usually it's a, it's a male who, and they're all sweaty and they're working hard outside in the hot sun and then the housewife is like, oh, here, uh, lemonade. And he like slowly rips off his shirt and beads of sweat is falling down his chesticles and everybody's like, because he's like hot. Oldest trick in the book to get attention. The reveal, she just did the reveal. And in my experience, when you do the reveal, you want people to look at you. Oh, that was quick. He looks very, very quickly. Okay, so first of all, she thought she exposed him. She thought before she posted this, this is it. This is the one TikTok. This is gonna get me in to that TikTokin algorithm and popularity. TikTok fame, here I come. Well, she got it, uh, but not in the way that she wanted because men and women everywhere were saying, girl, shut up. But you know, watching this, I have to expose myself and we're just talking between my closest friends. Closest. I would have definitely done this if I was in a bad mood. I am having the worst day ever. I know, I'll go to the gym and be surrounded by people, even though the sight of individuals just piss me off. And if one of those people even look at me, just a glance, I'm gonna blow up, I swear to God. One wrong look and I'm blowing. But who's gonna look at me in public? Huh, well no one's looking at me yet. Good, guess I'll start getting comfortable. What the fuck are you looking at? I think I do this to my boyfriend, no, I'm lying. I do do this to my boyfriend all the time when I'm irritated. If I'm in a bad mood and he even glances in my direction for 0.2 seconds, nothing more, nothing less. That seems to be the threshold for angry bitches. Shall I glance at you for a second? A second too long. Michelle, I just thought you looked really good today. Thanks, but don't. 
Michelle, I literally just glanced in your direction. I wasn't even looking at you. Well, don't do that, because I'm in a bad mood, and I don't like being looked at when I'm in a bad mood, because I feel like poop. And you looking at me makes me think that I look like poop. Logic, so. I'm just kidding, that's not how it really goes. It's not that realistic, I'm not that dramatic. No, that is how it actually is. So I guess she got her ass kicked out. <laughs> All for woman empowerment. I guess the guy that she started yelling at has the authority, he works at the gym, and he's the authority to kick her ass out. This did not go according to plan, I see. This definitely played differently in her head. Oh, I see someone staring at me in the mirror. Can I help you? And now I wait for all the applause, like when the main character stands up to a bully in the movies. I have yelled at men staring at me for a bit too long at the gym when I was, you know, younger, a little firecracker Michelle. But the scene played out a little bit differently, which is what I thought happened to this girl. Usually, what would lead up to me freaking out would be them following me around the gym for a while. You know what I'm talking about, ladies, when they kind of like shadow you, shadow behind you. They don't talk to you yet, but they'll shadow you a bit. It starts out with you doing your own thing and you look up and you just see some guy staring at you. And you're like, Nope, other side of the gym. And then you're just doing your thing. Boom, there he is again. Okay, back to the other side. Boom, there he is again. And he's just following you from machine to machine to machine to machine. As if you're so fucking stupid, you don't notice. And at the gym that I used to go to, they set it up perfectly, I'm sure. One of you men who like booty set it up this way. They put all of the glute machines right in front of the chest machine. And I would notice that the guy following me around would be doing everything but chest, but the moment I start doing my glute kickback, they're right up, posted behind me, working chest. They even break out a beer and some popcorn. And that's when I blow up and had enough. What the fuck are you looking at? But everybody sees me freak out. So I was expecting something like that. Also, do not ask them, can I help you? Because the ones that are real ballsy will tell you how how that booty can help them. But you know, now that I'm older, more understanding, more, what, uh, experience? <laughs> I understand that people stare, especially if you are a physically fit, like you visually are a muscular woman. People are gonna look at you. Even if you're at the gym and you're not muscular, but you look like you're just doing your thing and you are a dedicated individual getting a good workout, people stare. And she looks like she was someone that was very serious. But people stare all the time, especially in my area where there's not a lot of fit people, they're not used to seeing it. If I go to like a small town, people really stare. And as I grew, I learned that most of it is admiration. I was extremely insecure in my younger days, especially my teenager days. And a lot of people say, oh, it was high high school, that stuff's over now, but it still sticks with you. People made fun of you back then, you know, like those things that happened back in your younger days that kind of stuck with you in the back of your head, haunting you until you die. And yeah, high school's over, but you still have those things that you're just kind of like, uh, insecure about, even if you're not really insecure about it, you know, you don't let it affect you anymore, but it still kind of affects you, if that's making any type of sense. I got made fun of, there was periods of times that I was not the pretty girl, I was not cute, uh, ever since I got those thick framed glasses and book teeth, pretty privilege was gone for a while. And a lot of people either made fun of me, didn't want to be my friend, ignored me. You know, I was just in like background character. I was a background character. And people didn't feel like I was special or I looked weird. And so all those things kind of like, it still stays with you a bit. But anyway, I'm a lot better now. I'm a who cares what people think type person. But then recently I was at Target. I wasn't having the best day. I still had to go out into the world and finish some errands. So I looked like shit and I felt like shit. But I was in line at Target in the return line and the girl who did the returns was just staring at me. And she was skinny, cute, skinny girl. The types of girls that would make fun of me at high, in high school. She was just staring and I was like, okay. Obviously, she thinks I look like a freak and she's making fun of me in her head. I know it. I know exactly what kind of person she is. Oh yeah, I do. I can tell just by the way she looks at me. She's saying, why is she muscular? Huh? Why did she do that? She doesn't need to do that. Women are supposed to be sweet, delicate, thin flowers like me. And so I get in line and she's extremely just like awkward and quiet and kind of standoffish, very similar to how like the popular girls were with me if I tried to speak or talk to them. And we finish the transaction. I get my card back. I'm putting my card away. Pretend I'm putting my card away. This is what I'm doing. And this is the cashier. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Um, 
Um, so fidgeting, putting my card in my thing because my wallet is a mess. Ex excuse me. Um, I knew she thought I looked weird. Okay, uh, I just she barely even talked to me. Target does not have friendly service. Excuse me? Are you, are you saying something to me? I'm sorry. This might be very weird to you. I'm, I'm very shy, but I just noticed that you look like you work out. Like it's, it's an obvious thing that you work out. I'm just trying to gain weight. It's so hard for me. Do you have any tips for me? I kid you not. I was speechless because I had this whole story in my head, which I haven't done in a while, but I did have a whole story in my head about this girl. All because she looked at me and she was admiring me. She just wanted tips, a sense of admiration, and that's usually what it is. And as I grew, that's what I found. And some of these people just don't realize how hard they are staring. She was so cute. She even did like, I don't know why, I love when people like wanna put on muscle mass and I know it's like a hard thing for some people. Like they, they're just, really have a hard time eating and lifting weights, but she did the whole like, I just, I just want to get bigger. Like she like squeezed her little palms. She was so tiny. I can't believe I made that whole story in my head, like in freaking high school. What the fuck? All because I was having a bad day. I could tell that she really wanted to get bigger. She was insecure about her body and she saw someone that reflected what she wanted. Could you imagine if I was like, what the fuck? are you looking at? Can I help you? <laughs> like, <laughs> she'd really be shy after that. I was really having a bad day. One of my friends passed away and I was just, ugh. I'm, I'm talking about how to deal with after death on my second channel. It'll be up sometime this week. I'm still having trouble posting it for some reason, but I was just having a bad day, a bad visual day. I looked like crap, but to her, I apparently looked like a damn goddess. She told me that. She was like, you look like a goddess made my day. I saw a video the other day of some girl, some like TikTok fitness chick working out and she was filming herself and then she zoomed on into the lady in the back because the lady behind her or somewhere in the gym was just like watching her and she was like, ha, found a Karen. Yeah, Karen, bitch. Oh, like, girl, first of all, I think she was just admiring you. She was, she looked like a, she was a good looking girl who was lifting weights. And I think usually when people stare at me at the gym, they are trying, they want to replicate what I'm doing. They're trying to figure out what I'm doing so that they can do it because they think if they do the same thing, they'll look like you. They probably just think you're really cool and they wanna be cool like you. And you're up here posting them on TikTok like you just did something. Come on, man. Anyway, if I saw a man or a woman slowly ripping off their shirt in the gym, I am most definitely gonna stare. Most people will. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Please subscribe to this channel and the other channel. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I don't post random people staring at me in public, but I do do whatever I do on TikTok. You'll just go look at what I do. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Tell me your opinion. I'll be in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums.